I'm Luis Diaz. I'm from Mexico City, Mexico. I drive for Level 5 Motorsports. This is my first time at Lama. The history of the place, obviously, of Lama, it's unique. And obviously, the atmosphere, you know, the people, the fans, everything, you know, it's, it's a very special place. Christophe Bouchu, coming from Bourgogne. I drive for Level 5 Motorsport. This year it's my 19th start. Le Mans is a really wonderful race. And here we have a really special contact with uh, all people here around 300,000. It's great to be there again. Scott Tucker, Lee Wood, Kansas. Driver for Level 5 Motorsports. This is my third appearance at Le Mans. It's the greatest sports car racing event in the world. It's an honor and privilege to be here. Welcome to Le Mans. This year is the 80th running of the world's most grueling sports car event. It's a tough one for teams and drivers. It is the Le Mans 24 hours. Now, this is the second year for the Level 5 motorsports here. And last year, they were third in class. And this year, they'll be looking to reach that top spot on the podium. <laughs> Scott, you've had a chance to get out there during that free practice session. Um, how did you find it? I mean, it's pretty congested out on the track, and the track's still pretty dirty. Actually, we had a good, a good test session and qualifying session today. Um, the uh, traffic at times is, is bad, but uh, overall, not too bad. And uh, uh, we're, you know, we're liking what we're feeling with the car. We're working on a couple different things, so we're looking forward to night practice uh, at 10 o'clock tonight. Well, uh, we are <coughs> rechecking everything on the car, the setup. We rebuild completely the car after the test. We are definitely not in the situation to looking for a lap time right now. We are just working on our tires and a little bit on the setup. Um, so for the moment, nothing special always. <laughs> Jeff, it's been a bit frantic here in the garage. The car's not been where we want it. It's supposed to be out on the track. Um, we lost about half an hour. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually been not where we want it precisely. It's been in the gravel a couple times as well. These guys are fantastic. I mean, they can they take the whole back of the car off, the underwing off, clean all the rocks out, put it all back together in about 10 minutes. So it's pretty impressive. So it's the end of qualifying here at Le Mans on Wednesday evening. The team were out there for two hours. Christoph took to the wheel first, had a bit of a trip into the gravel. They had to come in here and clean the car up before Luis managed to get out and get those crucial five laps in by the end of play tonight. We struggle a little bit with the car. I mean, we have to figure out uh, what to do to uh, to make the car a bit more with more grip because so far we're fighting for grip but I would love to have a little bit more laps there but uh, we, we at least I have some something to, to think about it for uh, for the race and uh, I think we should be good.
Welcome to Le Mans. Well, it's Thursday morning here at the circuit and it's pretty quiet at the moment. Now, the teams use this opportunity to get the car ready and get it into to race trim. Now, for Level 5 Motorsports, they're having to change some of the aerodynamic parts that were damaged last night during that qualifying session when Christoph had an off. So they'll be replacing those. They'll be taking out the engine, replacing that with the race engine and putting the race bodywork on the car and, of course, checking the gearbox and everything else that they need to do in preparation for the next two qualifying sessions later on tonight. Well, last night um, we had a, a little off-course excursion and got in the gravel and went over a curb really hard. We broke some parts in the car. So the guys are replacing those right now. Um, we've actually cracked the gearbox case and done the floor pretty hard. Since we're putting our race engine in, we want to keep the miles down because every mile we use in practice is the one less we have for the race. We have to get Scott his five laps at night and once we get that done, then all of our drivers are qualified. Well, the final qualifying session is underway. The team have got the car out there on track. So Scott is behind the wheel of the Honda HPD. He's got to do the mandatory five laps tonight. After that, he'll come back in. Luis Diaz will take over and get some extra nighttime running in preparation. Yeah, we had to make a couple adjustments and come in with it. Uh, basically, you know, it's a brand new car. Every bolt's changed, so this is all race stuff. Uh, we prepped it for the race, so, um, you know, that's not surprising. have to come in and make a couple adjustments, but overall, uh, the car performed real well. There's been some challenges, but boy, that, that, that kind of a session, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, that was perfect. It doesn't get any better than that. The guys worked their butts off. It was a tough challenge with the problems they had uh, to go through, but um, it came all, all came to plan, and uh, that doesn't always happen. So at the end of free practice and the three qualifying sessions here at Le Mans, Level 5 have had a few challenges, but they've overcome them. They'll be 13th in class and 27th on the overall grid. A fair amount of work to do, but it is a 24-hour race, so anything can happen. Welcome to the beautiful town of Le Mans here in France, where I'm afraid the weather's not being that kind this evening, but we're here for the annual Le Mans Drivers Parade. All the drivers have to take part in this, and they drive around the town so they can meet their fans ahead of the 24-hour race tomorrow. Now, conditions a little bit tricky tonight, a few drops of rain, but uh, people are out in their thousands, so they'll be having a great...